Hey guys, welcome back to the Birmingham City career mode. Today we're going to actually be playing three matches. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, there's a lot of matches to get through. At the end of this December month, we're going to have... Eight, I can't even count. Have loads of games to look forward to after that in January. For the transfer window as well. If you can actually afford anybody. We're going to look probably look for pre-contract agreements, to be honest. So today we're going to be playing... The Aston Villa derby, and that is a very big game considering they are 19th in the league, and they're going to be if they beat us, then they're gonna we're gonna have to take their place in the relegation zone. So they're gonna be clawing at us. It's gonna be a very heated rivalry, not just for the Birmingham context of it all, but also the relegation fight. We've got Tottenham next as well at home. That's gonna be a big game as well. And then we're gonna simulate this game against Crystal Palace, assuming that we don't lose all our games. If we lose both Aston Villa and Tottenham, maybe I'll save the Crystal Palace game for the next episode, but I prefer that didn't happen. Okay, so we're going to take a press conference, so we get all the morality, the morality? Player morale, yeah. Up and above, not morality, there's no good and evil in this. It's just simple win or loss. Are you prepared for the next match? We are ready. We always have to be ready for a derby. Form goes out the window, but we both have similar crap form in the Premier League. And momentum isn't dropping. We have had, we're building some momentum and obviously being Aston Villa would help with that massively. We'll do our best as always. And uh, Morale's very happy. That's what you'd like to see. Hopefully that boosts our stats for this game as well. The players should be all fired up anyway. We're going to go. It's only a short trip to Villa Park. And they're, they're watching us. They're, they're, they want to get those three points. They need these three points, let alone against us. But yeah, we can, we can, uh, we can just continue to build out ourselves if we can just beat Aston Villa there's no reason why we can't and yeah same team as always Ramos in goal now Openda and Ketty up top Murat B needs to come in clutch as well he's been our best player but we need other players to step up as well and yeah enough of the talk boxing day as well it's boxing day didn't realize that boxing day we're gonna box them out of the ring we move okay as the players are training here I think is that El Ghazi don't know uh, well, before we move on to the game, I've just noticed on my phone that only 50% of you, well almost 50% of you who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed yet. So, be a top man and subscribe that, well press that subscribe button as hard as you can. I really much appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your mates. Let them know that I'm leading Birmingham City to stay, to being stable in the Premier League. Of course we are in the relegation fight right now, but we're looking to stabilise ourselves in a position where we can be in the top in the top of the league for years to come, like we used to be back in the day. I think Birmingham were quite a few years in the Premier League, weren't they? Aston Villa, of course, have always been Premier League team. Has always been a Premier League team for more more time, for more years than Birmingham City. Birmingham City, I should say. I'm f struggling to get my words out. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just maybe it's the nerves kicking in as the players arrive in Villa Park. It's a frosty day, just after Christmas. Hope you've had your turkey, lads, because. It's going to be a lot of energy needed in this game. So let's take a look at the Aston Villa team. 4-5-1. I think that was the same one they used last time we versed them. They've got Danny Drinkwater. Player from Chelsea they've signed. McGinn. Trezor Gale. Garzi. That midfield's very dangerous. I think, didn't we lose to Aston Villa actually before? I think Samata actually punished us before in the last Premier League fixture. So we can't, we have to try and avoid such disaster classes there. Nevertheless, we go defensive. We put up end on the left wing as usual. Danny Drinkwater started well here, linking up with Samata. And they're playing some fast stuff. But Sunjik tries to tackle Drinkwater, but, but Sunjik is the one who actually deals with it. Now Nketi has got it now here. Nketi is going to be looking to improve himself. Give it to Openda, nice. Rabi's now got it. Where's the support? He's skipped past the defender here. Ah, oh, but he loses it to Engels. That's offside. Good. To be fair, Aston Villa have started fast here. They're looking to... They're coming for blood, really. Um, they have to, really, because they need those three points. They want to get out of the relegation zone. Time is running out. We're nearly... Well, we're basically in the halfway point of the season, aren't we? So, the points should be made. The points are need to be made right now. Right here, right now. I don't know what I'm saying, but McGinn's through here. Fantastic skill for a fantastic ball roll by the young midfielder. But it's just wide. Collins running here. Nice back heel to Nketiah. 
Openda's making a, he's a classic left wing run. Can we make something off it? Openda's going to cross it in here. Oh no, not enough power on Murabi. I see what he was trying to do, he was trying to hit it off the ground. But it's just not enough ferocity on that shot. And it just lands straight into the goalkeeper's path as well. Good play though, Murabi's going to get it. Got another chance here. Good pass to Openda. He has to keep it, but he doesn't. Oh, keeps it alive. Come on, keep hold of it. Ah, jinxed it there. Fantastic tackle by Colin. The experienced right back comes in clutch again. To Nkete through. Oh, we nearly, you actually got there as well. I thought the goalkeeper was going to have that comfortably, but he had to make the save. Good good legs from Nkete using his pace, but... Good save as well. That that was that was going in. We've we've started off well. We've responded with the, in this derby. Clark Salter, Gonna try a long range maybe. Oh, no, not quite. Now Garzi looking for the counter. He's still got it here. We force him out. He's going to cross it, Clark Salter, tall as he always is, heads that away, but they've given it away. Oh god, he's got another chance here to cross it, and Drinkwater hits the bar! Oh my, oh my days guys, just kick out! Clark Salter, thank you. Oh my god, my heart was in my mouth there. Drinkwater could have easily made that 1-0, luckily the bar saved us. They really are trying the crossing tactic and it's working for them! Because Drinkwater's had another chance and he's buried that one this time. We verse a lot of teams. Wait, wait. We do verse a lot of teams whose crossing is, leaves a lot to be desired. But Aston Villa's tactic here of crossing works for them. And in the worst possible circumstances. Oh, God. Even when we cleared it, to be fair, they got the ball. And what a cross. And he heads it back to Drinkwater on the edge. And a good finish. And he gets the goal that you could argue he deserves. Not a good start. Okay, we've got 50 minutes before half time. We need to try and equalize before then, at least. Oh, not like this. What was that pass? Come on, guys. Where's the ferocity? Where's the passion? That's better. Come on. Ketia holding up the ball from deep. Sunjik running in here. Ah, oh, the slight tackle of dreams. They are defending really well. Pedersen, good block. Don't need drink water. playing like bloody Paul Pogba here. Holy crap. Oh, Gazi crosses it in. The fullbacks are, are struggling. They are struggling because their crossing is just so good. Their own fullbacks are getting across. And we're, full, we're getting pinned back. We have to do better on the counter at least. But we, there's no point countering if we're just going to pass it straight back to them. Okay, Pedersen's got it. All the top four up ender. There's space for him to use now. He's going to cut inside. He's going to pace it inside, actually. Near post finish, maybe? Ah, gets blocked again. God, their defence is... We just need to be more clever with the ball because they are defending for their lives. And Ketia's got it. The short corner. Gives it to Sunjik. Back to Nketiah. Can he finish it from long range? Straight at the keeper, guys. Come on. We're getting the chances in, but the shots have been not on it. Pender tries to play it through, but he's gonna ha he's gonna have another chance here. To Sunjik, Sunjik loses it, man. Oh. so frustrating right now. Aston Villa, they're playing really well, and they've been and they've been more clinical, and that's all that matters. They need these three points, and it looks like they're getting it. If we continue to play like this, it hasn't been the worst performance from us, but it's just. It hasn't been enough. Aston Villa are trying harder with us, you know what I mean, in this derby. We need to just think of a bit. We need to be more clever with the ball. Yeah, we've still got 45 minutes to go. Come on, guys. Okay, let's start off well in the second half, as we like to do. It's going to be hard now, because they're keeping a very defensive line. Two banks of four. But they're still good going forward as well. They're not playing like a relegation team. I'll tell you that. Oh, and Ketty had the ball there. Why did I walk backwards? <laughs> Why did I do that? 
Uh, now they now that Elgazi's got it again as he always does, but Tar deals with it well. Sunji loses it, he's not having the best of games, but Crowley does well to retrieve it. Come on, just we're gonna wait for the support. I know we're playing defensive guys, but come on. Nice. Good pass on Crowley no kind of chambers deals with it. But they've given it straight back. Come on guys. Nice, through the lines. Fantastic passing. But get here, man. Come on, man. You really... I know you're a young man. But you, he's struggling more than most for the pressure of the Birmingham City badge. But it doesn't matter because Colin's got it now. Cut it inside to Crowley on the edge. Oh, the shot gets blocked again, man. How many times is this going to happen? Oh, great. Now Trezor has gone past Clark Salter. He has to run back now. But Tar... Gets it back to him. Tar's now running forward now. He's going to have to help the attack out for some reason. But I guess we need to... I'm going to go on balance now. I, no, go on attacking, yeah. Go on attacking, why not? Something, something's got to give. Ketia now. Crowley. Garner. Openda. Oh, God, all the players are too spaced out. So when I do pass it, they just easily intercept. Come on, go on. A nice pass there. What, what was I thinking there? Should have just kept the ball. Good tackle by Ghana. Two subs coming on right now. Of course, with the attacking formation, it's 4-1-2-1-2 on two, on two, back to our normal stance. Jack Grealish is coming on, so that's not good. Collins coming off for um, Ferguson. And Lucas is coming on for Nketiah. Grealish just started off well already. <laughs> Dars had to make a foul. <laughs> oh my days. That's probably that's probably a good foul to be honest because they were f getting through already. Grealish surely making an impact. Now they got a free kick from 30 yards out. If we can get at least a draw in this game, it wouldn't be too bad, but we need to get a goal first. Let's try and counter and instead of passing it straight back to Jack Grealish. I think that would be better, guys, don't you think? Come on. Come on, Pedersen. Come on, Pedersen, make the run. Nice. Now we're attacking. Fantastic play. This is the best play we've play played all game. Crowley. Oh, he tries to swerve it, curve it into the bottom right. But not enough. Not enough on it. Come on, Tom. Nice. Come on. We're making things happen now. Tar's been shoved off the ball. How's that happening? Yeah, it's a foul. Short. Short pass to Murabi. Let's be concerned. Let's wait for our opportunity and strike. God. Oh! <laughs> I kept silent there. Unlucky, Lucas. Unlucky. Just too much power on him, my son. See what I was trying to do, though. The time is running out. Come on. We deserve at least a goal from this game. Come on. We need to keep on going. Good tackle by Lucas, but we lost it. John McGinn tries playing it through to the matter, but not to be. Good pass to Crowley. Let's try and counter now. Oh, okay. I need to keep the ball. I need to stop relying on ticky tack football because sometimes that doesn't work with our quality. Lack of quality there is. Sunju. Crowley. Nice. That's uh. Lucas gets it through, but gets tackled again. That's a Villa. you got to give them credit. They're playing out of their skin here. Now Wesley's bodied the midfield. The midfield hasn't taken over this game. Their midfield's taken control. They just have. Come on. Nice. Nice. What a save. What a save by the Aston Villa goalkeeper. How has this happened then? How? Oh, days, man. This is ridiculous. Trezeguet turns the man. Come on, one more chance. Give me one more chance, ref. Nice pass. Come on, Pender. Make a run. Oh. See, I, I, I was trying to smack the table there, but I didn't want to. 
And now we've... It's, it's, guys, just, not, one of their players is injured, but it doesn't matter because they're bloody through here. And they're going to score a second one, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, fantastic. Do you know what? That's, that's classic FIFA, isn't it? Classic career mode. Second half, complete domination from us. And what's it? We don't fail. We fail to. And they get one counter at the end. Even though it's three minutes after the supposed injury time. Because <sighs> obviously we put all our men forward because we're trying to get an equaliser. But the goalkeeper just came in clutch as if he's bloody the hair, mate. I'm a bit salty. I'm salty today. But it's just that we've got Tottenham next. And Aston Villa are going to overtake us now in the league standings. God, this is a disaster. Absolutely. They've beaten us twice in the league. They just they, they're just playing like Barcelona when they versus somehow. I don't get it. Any other any other team of their quality doesn't matter. But the Derby's we're just bottling it now, and they're making a sub as well. It's eight. You see, this result is flattering fast Aston Villa, but they deserve the win to some degree for the way they've become resilient in their defence. But we weren't resilient enough. Ah. <sighs> not to be was it I did all I could guys I didn't feel uncomfortable during the game I didn't feel like our players were off it their players were off it a bit in terms of rusting us but I don't know we should, should have got at least a goal there but we move and see the league standings okay our manager rating is just bodied uh, well our manager rating is just been shot down to 57 because we're right back in the relegation spot it's cl still close to be fair but now, Aston Villa have leapfrogged us in the league standings. Nice. God. If that happened in real life, bloody hell, Birmingham would be a bloody battleground. It just would. Um, but nevertheless, we need to try and maybe redeem ourselves by a huge win against Spurs. Which is possible. Especially with our defensive style of play with the counter-attack. But nevertheless, it's still going to be a hard game, of course. Jose Mourinho always parking the bus himself. But we'll see. I don't really recognise the player in our menu actually, so maybe to maybe hopefully to change team a bit, so we can get at them and just try and score some goals from the very off. Come on, guys, let's get these three points. Let's try and prove to the Birmingham supporters that we still got it in our system. Try and for make them forget about the disappointment of the Aston Villa game again. But yeah, 29th of December. Let's go, St Andrews. We're back home. We're back home against a 4-2-3-1 one side. Harry Kane. Deli Ali, Mora, Dyer, West Session Young. The only changes I see really is Tanganga, Franco, Lewis, Skip, a few youngsters actually being given a chance. But their attacking line's still dangerous. Of course with Harry Kane as well, Loris at the back as well, good goalkeeper. But we can get out of their defence a bit, but we need to be wary of their attack. Tar. Good defending already. Go on now. Sunjuk. Let's get an early goal, that would really help us. It just would. But it's going to be easier said than done. Ryan Session Young made Colin look stupid there. But Tar heads it away. Nice oh, passing. Come on. They've got spaces because they're actually attacking us. Did not have a, they don't have four banks or four, whatever it's called, for Aston Villa. But forget about Aston Villa. Oh, it could have been an early goal. Oh. Maybe Aston Villa is still in my mind, still in Murabi's mind. But to be fair, it was a decent shot. Just Luis, too close to Luis, just about. Good start from us. Let's see if we can cross it in from short corner. Sanchez has to head it away. Sunjik still got a hold of it, though. Don't lose it to Kane. Whatever you do, do not lose it to Kane. Fantastic tackle there to keep the ball, my mate. Don't know what I'm saying, my mate. You're not my mates. You're my players. You've got to step up now. Colin, not the best pass. Come on, pressure them. Come on, we're pressuring them. Good, good, good. Colin, try another cross instead of losing it, please. Okay, Crowley's going to cross it. No, not to be. Now, Lucas Moura's trying to counter. Of course, he's, I rate Lucas Moura a lot, actually. Especially, especially after that Ajax game. Too fair, even before then, I rated him. Uh, Garner. Sunjik. Nice pass through to Murabi. See Murabi can follow through from Anketia. Yes, he can. Can he get a second chance? Can he score the second chance? Yes, he can. The man who always scores the, 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 sec, the striker, the false nine, gets there. Good stuff. We deserve that. Tottenham haven't really come out the races, really. 
we've we've pinned the mad pressure on them and got the early goal that we so desperately needed. But it's not over yet. Fantastic pass from Skip to Lucas, even though Skip's sort of been a weak link so far for Tottenham. But Session Young skies it. Oh, why have I. Oh, God. Getting too casual with the passing. Now Deli has got it. Dangerous players. Skip. Heads it down, I'll take it. Okay, we're on the break here. Well, that'd be Sunjik's making a deep run, but it's passes it to Crowley instead. Fair enough. Pass it back to Sunjik. Great pass again from Sunjik to Murabi. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Oh, that was all Sunjik as well. But fantastic angle. Well, it was a hard angle to score for him, but Murabi made the most of it. Who's on? He's always he's the main man for us, isn't he? But Sunjik, wow, some fantastic line breaking passes from him. And he gets a good assist. And it's the second goal already against Tottenham. Why couldn't we just play against this with Tottenham, man? Oh, I mean, it is that whole counter-attacking spaces to be exploited a bit more against an attacking team or big team who tries to get at us. But it's backfired for Tottenham. It's worked in our favour. We need these three points as well. Good stuff. We're looking comfortable so far. So Kane obviously wants to get their team back into it. Gives it to Sesson Young, but Sesson Young can't give it back. Passes it straight back to Dyer. Not good enough. But Sunjik intercepting. Sunjik's having so much better game than against Aston Villa. Really dictating the game as he usually does. Good clearance by Pedersen. We've got space now. Come on, Kitty, make the run, my son. But Crowley's made it also a good run. Now he's got space. Can he cut inside? He can try to, but El Franco gets there. Kane to Deli Ali and he's finished it. What a finish! Maybe a def defence in my mind kind of switched off a bit, a little bit just for a microsecond. But obviously that's where the big players like Deli Ali, Harry Kane exploit us, and they got the goal back. God, we nearly lost it again. Let's just keep the ball. Let's just keep the ball for half time and just get out of this half winning. We need we need a break to be fair. Rabi. Let's see if we can get a goal though, why not? Why couldn't he get a hat trick already? Ah, oh, got a bit too excited there. Maybe I should have cut inside a bit. Try a better, better angle. Okay, we've started off the second half a bit shaky here. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just daydreaming I think. I don't know what I'm doing, but luckily Kane fouls us. Colin loses to Sesson Young. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need to fix up here. Otherwise, they're going to get back in this game easily. We can keep firm. Dyer passes it to Deli Ali. Tries in the near post finish, but Ramos has that covered. Block Salter running in. Pass to Murabi. Oh, fantastic through ball to Openda. Come on. Oh, I get here. I can't, I can't get there. Tottenham, the momentum has shifted. It really has. Kane's giving it to Lucas and he's still got it somehow. So I'm trying to put it to skip. Oh, and Clark Salter saves it for us. God, it just would have been so ironic if Skip, the person who's been the worst player for Tottenham so far, scores the equaliser. But let's try and stop that from happening. They've kept a better back line here. Mourinho certainly talked to him at half time, but Nketiah's through here. And yeah, good tackle by Sanchez. I think Lucas Moore, Lucas Moore has come off for Bergwijn. Bergwijn, isn't it? Steve Bergwijn. He's got a pace on him, so we've got to be careful of him. Klaus Holter, what was that touch, mate? Oh, God. Speaking of the pace, Sesson Young's on it. They're looking for the counter. They're looking it. They're looking for it, mate. Mourinho's bloody squirming now. They're on a hunt. Skip. Tries another shot, but it's crap. Thank God. Huming Song's coming on for Sessegnon. Skip is just... What is he doing, mate? God. He's tried to overhead kick to pass it. He's just lost it to us, but it doesn't make a difference because we're shit as well. 
excuse my language, just frustrated how the way they were playing the second half. It's like chalk and cheese, but Deli Ali disguise it. We're getting saved here. Well, we're carrying ourselves through this game. We're not playing the game. We're not being active. It needs to be better. Okay, I think Openda deserves a rest. He's getting a bit tired this game, so Montero's going to come ahead for him. That makes sense. I just said that weirdly. Um, <laughs> Openda's... No, Openda's staying on. Kete is being shipped out for Lucas once again. And Colin is being replaced by the young Ferguson. Immediately we responded to the subs. Fantastic back heel to Murabi. Can he get his hat trick? Come on, mate. He's hit the bar. He's hit the fuck. He's hit the bar. Oh, the goal to try and seal the victory as well. Oh, God. How have we done this? That was such a good back heel from Lucas as he just came on. Now Bergwijn's here. God, this is dangerous, isn't it? Crosses it in. Oh, God. Deli Alley nearly got a proper shot on goal there. But luckily... The defender outmatched him. But they're leaving spaces because they're trying to chase the game. Fantastic long ball to Crowley. Come on, come on, Rabi. You can get your you can get your bloody hat trick. Come on. Fantastic pass. But Alfanco gets there, but it's a penalty. Yes, it's a penalty. Woo! Okay, Rabi's gonna get a chance to get his hat trick. Watch me miss it, but it's a lifeline, it's something, it's a gift. They've been doing good slide tackling, but not this time, mate. Taken out Murabi there. Should be red card. But now we're going to change the kick taker to Murabi, of course. Give him a hat trick. I think I think he's the only player who's got a hat trick for me in this career mode forever. Like in this whole career mode. But nevertheless, let's go for the top right corner. It's going to be a hard one. But Luis doesn't move. And it's a hat trick for the main man himself. The talisman of this entire team. Who gives us points every way he looks. Murabi, man. Zero to hero, isn't he? He really has. The character development from season one's <laughs> uh but yeah. Calm, calm, composed, comfortable finish. To get the hat trick he so deserves. He's he very much deserves. Ten goals from the cam position. He we always playing more as a striker now in the defensive formation. But yeah, nevertheless, we have won this game deservedly. It looks like we're gonna wrap things up now. Fantastic season from him. And this hopefully can help us have a better season. Yeah, okay. Tottenham, if they get a goal now, could have been trouble. But Ramos, good save. Eric Dyer heads it wide. Okay, cut that bit out, forget that. Whew! Nice improvisation from Pedersen to head that way. Now Lucas could try and get in on the act, but Sanchez bodies in. But he's giving it straight back to Montero. Come on, come on Lucas. Just hold up the ball well like you usually do. Good stuff. Good pass to... No, it was a good pass to Pedersen, but red wine into the steps. That should be it now. Only a couple of minutes left. The grind's through here. Everyone tries to cross him. Everyone, everyone I go against tries crossing. Like the AI are just designed to cross. But luckily Ramos makes a good save. Because the cross was heading in. Dyer nearly heads it in from the corner but not to be. Maybe it's just world class difficulty that allows them to cross a bit more. And then when it's legendary they just play like Barcelona. I don't know, I'm not sure. But it's just a bit boring sometimes for gameplay circumstances. But we won. That's what matters. Important win to uh, please the fans after that Villa disappointment. It would have been nice to beat Aston Villa as well. But too late. Can't look at the past. Look to the future. And we're, and we're probably going to simulate that Crystal Palace game as well. I know it's a bit stupid because they're, cl they're close uh, relegation rivals. But I just need to get the career mode rolling. And there's so many games in January. Yeah, no. Manager Wade, he's shot up to 70. Basically... T basically, when we're in relegation zone, the manager rating just goes down properly, like proper. Just he goes down by like 20 ratings, but outside the relegation zone, even if it's by goal difference, um, it's still good, still better than that. Um, yeah, we're one point behind the Aston Villa, still a bit stupid, but we'll sort that out. Don't worry, guys. 
Oh shit, I forgot to uh, replace Clark Salter. Okay, with the transfer window started, we are now in January. And since you haven't been successful by renewing, in renewing Montero's contract, he has now become available to sign on a free transfer. We recommend you avoid a situation in which we won't cash in in this department by renewing his contract or by offering offering him to another club. I forgot to... I forgot to add another contract. Wait, what? I'm confused. I thought... Oh, I swear I saw these stories. I started out his contract. Two phase, five months. But he's not... What do you mean terminate loan? He's playing first, mate. What do you mean? Well, he's on loan first for like a two-year loan or something before I came in. I don't even know, mate. I don't even know what's going on. I think Montero's going to leave, though. But Villalba's going to come back then. He's 21 years old, 70 rating, so he'll replace Montero when he comes back. We can terminate his loan. We will recall him from him loan. I did not. I thought Montero was an actual player first. No, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. He doesn't play too many matches. But yeah, we, let's not worry about this. Um, let's not worry about the transfer window for now. Let's simulate this game against Palace. It's been a while since we did the simulation. I know, guys. I just, I just, I don't want to risk all the time. You know what I mean? Manager rating going down, but it could go down if we lose. But hopefully, fingers crossed. No, we lose. Ah, see, our ratings are not good enough. This is why I don't simulate games, guys. Red card for Garner as well. God, it's so bad. But I just had to get a game out of the way there. Has that impacted the slot? I don't think it has. Let me check the Premier League standings. Of course, we've got Leeds in the FA Cup. That would be good to get the manager rating up if we beat them. We get to the round of 32, and that is the objective for the FA Cup at least. Yeah, we're still above the relegation zone, just about. Luckily, other teams drop points as well. So we're 17th. It's a lot of games to get through in January, so it's going to be a big month, not just in terms of transfers, but in terms of points won. But I don't know if there's going to be many transfers anyway, to be honest, um, unless you guys can help me with that. Expect more from you, Dean. Gone is going to be out for one game, but it's a it's a cup game. Uh, unless it's the next league game, I'm not sure. But I think he's going to be out just for this league game. So if that's the case, that's calm. Trans for transfer, I've already got a million pound, guys, and 50k wage budget. So realistically, we could go for out of contract agreements. So I can maybe accept Akezi. Of course, Murabi's playing really well, so I don't know if I want to ruin that momentum but he could be a good center mid he, i don't know if he can play center mid as well so yeah he's the only i'm scouting him a contract expiring six months so that's the only deals we can really make unless we make more money who can i sign with a million pound let me show you guys the exact figures so you guys can maybe help me in the comments below i'd really appreciate it if you can if you think there's a signing out there a bargain to be had a young player center mid maybe he doesn't help me out let me know but yeah, it's mainly going to be about all the games coming up. Got Leeds, but we've got also the two legs of Liverpool that we need to play for the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. That'll be massive if we can get to the final there. We've got Man United and Tottenham again as well. We're going to probably simulate that Bournemouth game. I shouldn't be laughing actually, because it, it could very well decide my fate if I just continue to lose games a lot. But yeah, I feel like we, we've got a stable club. We've got, in terms of philosophy, just need to get those results when we need them. But yeah, enough uh, enough about me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. Way more comment, way more content coming for you guys. Man Chester United reactions after the Premier League games in real life, The Last of Us, and even more games. Let me know. Suggest some of your own games I could play. Who knows? You guys could help me with this channel. It's your channel as well as mine. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.